checking my mentions. It's working. There you go. Perfect. Cool. Um, I am just organizing my closet and cleaning, and I thought I would uh, do a space, because why not? Good way to pass the time. Um, you didn't let me do it on my... I used to... Try, I always tried to do it on my alt, on my, my private, but it's never let me. But now it did. So I guess they updated it. I don't know when, but at some point. There's been a lot of changes on Twitter anyway, so... Makes sense. Um, how are all of you? What is up? You guys see George's TikTok? If not, you should look at it. It's funny. Um... He, we were just we were just like messing around. Well, backstory to it: we were just messing around. Like I don't know, we were just we were just chilling, and um, uh, he was just he just kept recording like random, like he kept saying, "I want to make a TikTok." He kept recording like little random things. Like he was just doing random stuff, and then um, like I was coming out of my office, and he was just was recording that like recording patches, and um, was like she's being annoying or whatever. And I was going to like slide, I was going to like slide in, like, like jump into the frame and like slide in like all cool. Like, and I just tripped and I fell. And, um, anyway, I didn't like, I, I completely, I like gave, I have a massive bruise on my arm from it now. Um, because I like, I like totally redirected. So I didn't hit her. And so I didn't hit her at all. She didn't patches didn't get hit. If you look at the video, but anyway, I felt bad. And I gave her food, but anyway, um, you're at school. Congrats. 5am for me. Um, anyway, I thought you planned it. No, it was not planned. It was not planned. Um, yeah. So that's what I'm up to. Just cleaning and organizing my closet. Um... What else have I been? I met a really there. There was um. I was in uh. What was it? Uh, it was like CVS or Walgreens or something. Um, and it was yesterday. I don't. My my sense of time is terrible. It was either yesterday or the day before. Um, but uh, I was in like a CVS or a Walgreens or something, and um, I got approached by uh, a Puerto Rican mother. And, um, I was, uh, I was obviously, we live in Orlando, so I was, I was near Disney and, um, uh, she, she was wearing like, they were all wearing like her, she, she was with, um, uh, like her family and, um, she came up and she said, my son, like she, she didn't speak English, like she didn't speak English well. Um, but she's like, my son, my son is a fan. Um, and I was like, oh my God. And then, um, I took a picture with him. Um, and I was like, I wasn't sure how much English they spoke. So we were like trying to communicate with each other, but they, I, I have to just, they were on vacation in, uh, going to Disney and, um, I thought, I thought it was cool. Like they didn't even speak English and, um, they came up and we had, we had a small, very limited conversation, but it was nice. Um, and, uh, that was cool. Um, it's actually it's funny how many people that I I meet I feel like most people don't realize that I, well it's interesting like most people know that we live in Orlando 
but most people don't know that we live in Orlando because almost everyone that I, almost everyone that's come up to me in person in, in Florida, um, is like surprised and well, or, or like asked like, Oh, what, you know, you're going to Disney, you're visiting you, whatever. I'm like, no, we, we live, <laughs> we live here. Um, so that's kind of funny. Cause I would think, uh, I guess I think, I, I, I think that people, more people know that we live in Florida than, than actually do. Um, cause yeah. Cause even like, uh, the girl that was in line in front of me, um, in the CVS, whenever that happened, um, was like, I thought you looked familiar, blah, blah. And then was like, and then asked, ended up asking a question about, um, like, oh, are you, so you're visiting? I'm like, no, <laughs> live here. There was also though I was in I went to um uh Disney Springs uh which is essentially for those of you who don't know it's like a it's a bunch of like restaurants and shopping stores and whatever that's in like a free Disney sort of um it, sort of I don't, know, I don't know if that's the best way to describe it but I was there the other day and um uh there's two two different two different things happened two different they're both a good they're a good example of what not to do and then a good example of what to do um so first one was i was in like the lego store <laughs> and uh i'm pretty i mean this is this is what happened is essentially um the it was like the workers there i think recognized me they didn't say anything cool they were cool as far as i know um, but then there was like these girls and I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm extending nine, nine point nine, 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 nine percent certain that they like recognize that. Like, oh, it's true. Um, but I, I like, I first, when I saw them, I wasn't sure. And I was like, Oh God, I, I didn't really want to be recognized. So I was like, well, I like walked away and was kind of like behind a pillar and stuff. But I was like, I'm, I'm like fairly certain they did. And they were just the face, their faces they were making and stuff. And then as I like, I can kind of hear them off in the distance, like as I walk away, like talking. Um, and I'm pretty sure they said dream. And then, as I walk outside, I, I like walk away. Um, and I was with like family and friends and stuff. So I, I whenever I'm with like family or friends, I'll just, you know, walk away or whatever. But, um, uh, and then like they they come out of the Lego store and I'm like by myself away by the pier or something. And they come and they like, they like act like they're taking a selfie with each other. And I'm like in the background, I'm like, okay, you're trying to take a picture of me clearly. Um, but then I don't want to be rude. So I'm not going to be like, Oh, I'm going to like run out of their shot or something. But, um, but yeah, that happened. But, um, there was also, um, I met two, uh, lovely fans outside of, um, uh, dinner. Uh, I was like coming out of dinner and, um, uh, I was with like people from my management and, and stuff. And, um, uh, there was, there were some fans who saw us when we were going in, I guess. And then, um, like, wait like waited and uh people like she's gonna say that's kind of weird but it's not that's not i don't think that's weird i'd rather i'd rather like people wait than like bother me while i'm eating if that makes sense um uh but, but yeah they were lovely they were they were really nice we, we chatted for a bit they were just visiting they said that their they said their friend was like um when they're because they, they're from canada and they drove down i guess and they said um that uh they're they're like oh uh our friend, um, our friend was on the phone with us before we were going, and they're like, "Oh my God, what if you saw Dream?" Because they, I guess they, again, they knew that we lived in Orlando. Um, and they're like, "Oh, there's no way we'll see Dream." And then it's just like, I just happen to be. I haven't been to Disney Springs in like a million years. I just happen to happen to be there and um, see them. So that's that's really cool. And we took a uh, we took pictures on like a, they had like a I think a Polaroid camera or something or a digital or a, not a digital camera, but that was cool. They were awesome. I'm trying to remember their names. I think one of them, one one of them, was Hannah, and the other one was had a more unique name that I'm not going to remember. Anyway, shout out to you. You 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 hear this or see this or something? Um, yeah. Meeting fans is awesome. I, I feel like I I I get to I get to meet a lot. Um, which is I think the face reveal had such like a big a widespread like reach. 
that there's some I get to meet some people and talk to people and I, I'm I'm a, I'm a social I'm a social creature, so it's nice talking to people. It's very cool. I don't know why I just went on that rant, but what are you reading? Message from us. I'm not really reading anything. I'm just oh, that was the first one I just read. I just went to mentions, but um. Yeah. Tell us who locked the fridge. That was George. George locked the fridge. George had like, so George bought like George bought soup or something. Um, and it was like broccoli cheddar soup. And it was sitting in there for like, I don't even know how long, a long time. And um, uh, so I had some of it. And then George came back, like, or George, when George, wait, was he gone? I think he was gone. And then George came back and was like, did you eat my soup? I was like, I mean, I had, it's like broccoli cheddar from like, it was like from Walmart or something. I was like, I could get, I can get more. And he was like, <laughs> I come back later and the fridge is padlocked with a bike lock. I'm like, all right, George, you don't like, you don't need to, that's a little, that's a little exaggerative. It's like, okay, no one wants people eating their food, but it wasn't like it was like leftovers or like, Oh, I bought this thing. It was like people, I don't, we share. I don't know. He's eaten plenty of things that I've put in the fridge, but I just thought it was it was very funny. That was a TikTok. You know, fuck TikTok. I hate TikTok. TikTok sucks. Like, like genuinely, it, it, there needs to be like a staffer that, that connects with me or something. Like it happens to almost everyone I know. It's it's so like demoralizing. It's so annoying. Like I, I've made since I face revealed, I've probably made like eight TikToks, and four of them have been taken down, or, or get like taken down, or get like a community guideline strike or something. And it's like what. What am I doing? I'm not even, I'm not even like half the shit I see on my for you page is like 10 times worse than anything I've posted. I post like a joke, a joke thing, stealing the Florida sign. It gets removed. Um, the other one, the other day, I don't even know. I don't even know why the last two I got, I posted got removed, but yeah, there's more than, I mean, there's more than one fridge. It, it, he didn't padlock like the main fridge. It was just, it was the other fridge. So it was a different, it wasn't, the main fridge. He wouldn't get away with that. But it is kind of funny. It's taken out because it was awful. I hope that helps. No, it wasn't awful. Yeah, there's a yeah, the same the cat the cat one as well. It's annoying. Whatever. They suck.
Ähm. Uh, what to talk about? What are some conversation topics? Um, uh, dream lore finale for Dream S&P. That's pretty good. It's a good topic. Um, what about it? Let's talk about it. Um, I think it turned out great. I, I really, I, I was really happy with it. Uh, obviously, um, uh, if we had more time and and everything, we could uh, do do more. But um, I'm happy with. With what we were, with what we did, with what we were given, and um, I'm happy with uh, how everything went. It went great. Uh, I quite enjoyed uh, playing uh, the character, and I like I like like role playing and stuff is fun. Obviously, I had a good time. It was great. Kind of the daily streams, streaming with. Uh, with Tommy, it went back. It took me back to back in the day. Um, Tommy and Tubbo and everything. I think it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I think revealing a lot of the stuff that, uh, in terms of intentions, uh, it, it was all stuff that has kind of already been out there, but not like kind of concise and also not like the Tommy and, and uh, and see Tommy and see Tabo, but um, you know, it was, it was fun. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, questions, I guess. You guys can ask questions if you want. I'm just, I am sorting my laundry right now, so. I have this shirt, this, the Halloween shirt that I wore that says I don't, I don't need a Halloween costume. My face reveal was scary enough. I just, I found that in my laundry. What do I do with it? Should I like sign it and give it away or something? I don't know what I should do with it because I'm, I'm never gonna wear, I'm never gonna wear it again. And it's just, it's clothing. And it is just kind of a funny like. I guess it doesn't even. The thing is, it, I don't know. I guess like, yeah, I don't know what to do with it because also like, it's not like anyone else wants to wear it. Like, yeah, we're a thing of my face. I don't know what I'll do with it. Um, I don't know what I will do with it. What is this? Oh, I haven't worn this. Uh, I'm not going to right now. Okay. Um, Lauren, yes. Uh, every every like cat toy and cat stuff that we have, we got from the PO box. So. Unless someone sent that same cat toy, then that was your cat toy. <clears throat> when are we going to get a Dream Team IRL stream? I don't know. We The only things that I know, know of that we have like definitely planned in terms of IRL uh, streams are, we're, we're a bunch, are a bunch of um, like Christmas, New Year's streams. So... We were gonna we were gonna have a dream team for George's birthday. I just was sick. I was very sick. I wasn't like I was. I, I felt like shit, but I wasn't like I don't even know how to describe it. Like it, it was it, it like came in <coughs> came and went as well. I don't know what it was. It wasn't like COVID though. <coughs> I still kind of um, I'm like congested and stuff, but I'm not like I feel fine.
Anyway, uh, more questions if you guys would like. I'll refresh and see as I put my clothes away. Um, Oh, look in one second. That's my stomach. I don't know if you're oh, you guys are in a drawer. I don't know if you can even hear me. Probably. Um. Okay. Let's check. <laughs> You're in a drawer there. Yeah. Can you talk about why C. Tommy saw that in his limbo? Um, I'd say that that's that's more of a question for Tommy um, than than me, because um, my reasoning is uh, well, it's, it's what pushed the story along. But <laughs> um, I don't know what the Tommy's reasoning behind behind it is, and what Tommy's character's reasoning behind it is. So, um, I think that the way that I would I would look I would interpret it is that. Um, it's kind of like it, like Tommy wants, like this. This is what this is how I would interpret it, and totally Tommy could completely disagree. So feel free to disregard everything I'm about to say if you don't like it at all. Um, but uh, I would interpret it as that Tommy really wants, like, for his friends to to be able to, you know, if for it to be simple and for him to just be having fun with his friends, um, you know, how how he how it used to be back in the early days of the server, and so seeing that. But for his, you know, for seeing that, but for Dream, you know, the, the Dream experiencing what he, you know, what he wants. And of course, uh, Dream is his nemesis, whatever. Um, that's, how I, that's how I would interpret it. But um.
terus mic terakhir ya. Hi King, can you confirm the interaction between Dream and Tommy wasn't a forgiveness, it was just understanding? Yeah. No, no, Tommy wasn't forgiving, was not <laughs> forgiving Dream. I think it was a, I think Tommy Tommy had never seen Dream as anything other than just this evil, you know, bastard that's doing all these horrible, torturous things to him, which he did and was, um, and had never never stopped to think about um, or, or even imagine, you know, what dream was like before, you know, in the, in the past. And so it was more of a humanizing moment of kind of like a, you know, this person's a, this, Hey, this person's a human too. We're both from the same place, whatever. Um, uh, it was, it was definitely not a, Oh, well, that means that everything's okay. Like, I think Tommy said this, Tommy said the same thing in the lore. He was like, well, it doesn't, you know, I understand, you know, what your goal is, but this isn't how you do it. I think it was one of those things where it, you, in my mind, it was, it was a moment of, you know, before in, in the past, you know, you're never going to, if you don't understand somebody's intentions, you don't understand somebody's goals. You don't understand you know, why some, what somebody wants. And, and, and uh, you go into every situation with a, well, you're, you know, you're evil or you're um, you know, you're a bad person, you know, whatever, then you're, you're never going to convince the other person. And it's the same thing with, or you're, you're never going to make any ground um with anybody uh and i think that so it was it was the first time where um ever between tommy and dream where they had any any kind of understanding with each other because they had always just been at each other's throats and had always been um you know fighting for so long it had never stopped to really un- really try and understand each other um but especially for um for dream as uh, as obviously his motives for a million different things had just been had been up in the air and had been things that not only did the audience not know but um the the characters themselves don't know either but yeah so i'd say it was it was 100 percent. it was not it was not a forgiveness thing it was a it was an understanding and it wasn't an understanding with a level of forgiveness it was just understanding it completely it was just a, and I think it was more of a, um, of a Tom, Tommy going up, you know, for the longest time operating under the impression that dreams just this, you know, evil bastard that, that, you know, just enjoys, it absolutely enjoys torturing me and whatever. And, you know, that's the thing is you can interpret things how you'd like, but I, I'd say that there, there is an element there and there, there is an element of enjoyment from, you know, from dreams, uh, perspective, um, because of, uh, because of the the past and their history together and whatever that I'm sure dream does derive some joy from the actions he's and the things he's put Tommy through and whatever. But obviously those are, he's not going into it with the intention of, Oh, I, I, this is my, my goal is just to bring hell to Tommy or bring hell to um, the server or whatever. And so I think that the, the moment of understanding is more understanding that if, if that's not, if that's not dream, if dreams intention isn't, or Dream's main goal is not, you know, being an evil person, and it, you know, deep down he he ha- he does have um, good intentions, even if he's it, is a evil bastard for the way he went about things. Um, that maybe there is a way to make it work, you know, because if if you're just if you're just pure evil, then you know, you get get rid of get rid of it from the earth, you know. Versus if you know, oh, you're. Uh, you've done horrible things. You deserve to pay, you deserve to pay for them. You deserve to be punished for them. You deserve to have repercussions from them. Um, but at the same time, um, you know, you can, there is a way where we can work together because we have the same, we have the same goals. We have the same morals. We have the same, you know, whatever in mind. Um, that's kind of how I look at it. I don't know if that, I don't know. I think it's also 
um, more up for interpretation. So. <laughs> uh, what would have happened if uh, C. James imprisonment had lasted longer? Um, I don't know what you mean by that. I think that... Uh, the, the the biggest like behind people because people were saying oh Jim purposely put himself in prison so and so was like well yeah but no, um, uh in for my my understanding of it is yes um, Dream did uh, purposefully uh, you know put himself into the prison and and the prison was a, a part of um, the overall plan uh, in terms of um, it wasn't it wasn't I, I didn't the the prison wasn't built for Dream. Um, the prison was built for the, the fulfilling dreams goals overall and the ability to do that. And, um, one of those things was, uh, to obviously there's be, there'd be certain people that would be more likely to get in the way and unlikely to, um, and, and also having the understanding of the fact that there was a revival book, um, uh, dream after kind of becoming aware of that and, and coming to possession of one himself, um, Dream had the idea that, well, you know, what if, what if somebody like techno or somebody like, you know, somebody strong and te- I'd say in my mind that it was originally when I came up with the idea for it, it was, it was more so based on Technoblade. Um, and uh, the reasoning for it was Dream being scared of the fact, well, what if there's more, what if there's more revival books and what if death is not, a, you can't stop somebody with death. Like it's, it's scary knowing that, you can you you can beat somebody fully and then they're just there and so he thought the idea of making a prison where if that ever does come to be where somebody is trying to stop um stop him stop his goals stop uh you know hurt the server whatever that um they'd be able to be stopped by putting them in the prison which is kind of funny because obviously it kind of ended up being the opposite um but uh when dream see dream uh um put himself into the prison it was it was thought of as a very it was thought of as a temporary thing um and ended up lasting a lot longer than he had imagined and also on top of that he didn't expect that awesome dude would let quackity in to fucking torture him um so that obviously made things a million times worse but just to clarify the prison wasn't built for techno but it was just like oh well techno's seeing techno's power and stuff back then and being like it was one of those things where it was like oh what if somebody as powerful as technoblade you know there are people that can be as powerful as as you know as me or whatever as c dream and um so what if one of them is is not on our side or what if techno is not in the future or whatever That makes sense. Anyway, soup, I want soup. I love how the one TikTok that hasn't been taken down is the one of you sitting on the toilet. It's like, yeah. It's it's also annoying because 
that TikTok was age restricted. So it's like even the ones that didn't get taken down. Like, what is age restricted about that? I don't understand. Like, you see, like, the tiniest frame of lower leg. Like, what? That is, that, that is like, that that one is ludicrous. Like, what what is age restricting about that TikTok? What is age restricting? There's nothing, nothing remotely bad. Like I didn't even, I, I purposely didn't even like take down my underwear or anything like for the joke, like the joke that I was taking a poo. You just see like lower leg, very lower leg and pants. Like what? TikTok's like, no, unacceptable. And there's like girls throwing ass on, on TikTok on the daily. <laughs> it's like, What? my my lower leg is not enough it's like shirtless dudes i was about to say i was about to say shirtless dudes filling my for you page but that comes across weird but still there, there is people all the time on tiktok it's not like it's a everyone's fully clothed 100 percent of the time You can't even, yeah, no knees. Can't show your knees. Um, okay. So, got that. Um, What's your opinion about Lovejoy and James Merritt's music? I need to know. I love them both. I think they're awesome. Um, I haven't talked to James in a bit, but uh, whenever he was he was working on music previously, probably. Uh, it was probably a year ago at this point, but um, uh, he had shown me a song or two before he put them out, and they were, they were awesome as well. I feel people always have a... <clears throat> I don't know. People like, defaultly have a negative view of... Uh, a lot of times, uh, defaultly a negative view of people making music that are from um, like the online creator space. Uh, but it's usually like... But you, in my mind, it's it's. I think it's a stigma that's going to go away soon-ish, because it's like you're a lot. Most people who get popular from the creator space are are popular because they're creative, and creativity is a big thing for like creative storytelling and a lot of a lot of the skills that are in content creation um, translate very like one to one to. Or not one to one, but translate very well to making music and other other art forms and writing books and um, yeah, whatever. But I don't hear a lot of cleaning going on. That's true. But I'm not okay. I I need to. I've like organized my stuff and I'm like debating. Um, I'm, I'm like packing technically. And so I'm like, what am I bringing? I don't know what I'm bringing. Um, Cause I'm traveling somewhere in a couple days. Um, so I'm like, I don't know. So I like laid out all my clothes and then now I'm just like, what am I going to wear? I don't know. What am I going to wear? Help me. What should I wear? Um, okay, so I'll bring, 
This is hard. I don't know what I want to wear. You know, Daniel, you're going to wear that cat beanie. Sure. I like the cat beanie. My hair, my hair is, is, it's so, it's so hit or miss. It just depends. And it's also just so different. So it's not even necessarily hit or miss. It's more like one day it'll look one way and then the next day it'll look another. Do you still have the green cap, Benny? Um, either I do or George does. I know it's somewhere. I might have it. One of us has it. I think George has it. I found my Saikuno scarf. <laughs> Are we getting any more drop chats soon? Drop chat. <laughs> Probably. It's just completely random. It just depends on like what I'm doing. Um all right. I'll break this one.
who's your next? What do I have your next close? That's not mine. One of these. These are mine. <laughs> the Dreet reveal. No, you could barely see my feet. You could barely see them. People saying I sat crisscross to hide my feet. I did. That's just how I sat. I didn't. I wasn't hiding my feet. You guys are so silly. What is red? What is like? What is like red match with? I don't know what a red matches with. Like a purpley red. I don't know if I bring them or not. I have like these red pants. I don't think I've worn them like on camera. <laughs> they probably look dumb. Maybe not. I'm bringing them. I guess. Whatever.
Oh yeah, in the meetup vlog. I was wearing them. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what red matches with though. I feel like my outfit didn't match. Did that? Did it match? I guess that probably... I don't know. The blue with the red? I don't, I don't even know. I don't know. Wait. I'm actually... I'm trying to look. I don't know if those were the pants. This might be brown. I think. I think. I'm looking at my other ones. I think these are. I think those are brown. I think those are not. I think those are brown. Huh. Yeah, I think those are brown. You guys keep distracting me. Um, okay. Um, all right. Yeah, those are the. I don't. I don't think I. Those, these are red. Those are brown. I, I'm not. I'm ninety nine percent sure that this is. That these are completely different. Um, they're not even the same type of fans. Fine.
こう Do I like your cat? Yes, I like your cat. Are you going to address the ginger allegations? I mean, you can clearly tell that I'm not ginger. Um, I mean, obviously, my hair does have some, like, auburn in it, but you can look at any photo of me and tell that I'm not ginger. But there's truth that my hair does have an auburny tint sometimes. just depends on the lighting. That's why when I've mentioned before, I've, I've thrown strawberry in there before when I've said dirty blonde or... Like, yeah, strawberry or blonde. I think it's, I don't know. My hair is a unique color. It's not, it's, it, the reason there's so much argument over it is because it's, it's not like a, it, it, usually people, you can just put someone's hair into an exact category. Which means like, I don't know, my hair is more, my hair is very unique. It's not, it's, it's like, it's very obviously not brown. It's very obviously not like black. It's very obviously not blonde. Um, but then it's like, okay, well, where does it, where does it sit then? How would you describe it? And I think that there's people saying that it's brown or wrong and people saying that it's um, blonde or wrong, but that it does, it fits into a category like in between where it's not, it's kind of a mix. It's like a mixture of like ginger, blonde, brown, and I don't even know. I guess probably those, it's probably those three all in combination to make the fur ball.
Is Patch is sleeping? I don't know. Probably. Probably asleep. Might not be though. I don't know what she's up to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm just organizing. It's taking my concentration. Is it GMM time? It 
is. Okay, I'm gonna end my space. Bye, guys. I'm gonna. I'll be. I was gonna leave soon anyway, so it's not just because of that. But anyway, whatever. He was gonna make fun of me. Um. Bye. I'm. Good morning. I'll see you guys later. I'll do another space soon. I guess. I don't know. We'll see. Bye. Love you. Peace.